Number 62. A woman's basketball has a circumference between 28.5 and 29.0 inches and a maximum height of 20 ounces. Two significant figures. What are these specifications in units of centimeters and grams? Okie dokie. So we're converting here, definitely. So let's just say that we have a, a basketball. I think it has like black... Uh, this looks like a baseball, but whatever. <laughs> so let's just pretend that this is a basketball. Circumference is just the outer edge, kind of like a perimeter of a circle, is between 28.5 inches and 29.0 inches. And it tells us that it has a maximum weight of 20 ounces, so 20 O Z. They want to know what these specifications are in centimeters and grams. So the first thing is I got to figure out which one is in centimeters or which one can I convert to centimeters and which one can I convert into grams. Well, inches is a form of length and so is a centimeter. So these would match up. So I need to convert inches into centimeters for both of them. The other one, grams, is a form of mass. And so is an ounce, especially if they're telling me that it weighs 20 ounces. Weighs is a form of mass, so this has to be a mass. So I can convert ounces into grams. So basically we have to do three conversions here. We have to turn the 28.5 ounces, uh, sorry, 28.5 inches into centimeters, 29.0 inches into centimeters, and 30 ounces into grams. So let's get started. <laughs> so the first one, I'm going to convert 28.5 inches into centimeters. Now, do I know a direct conversion between inches and centimeters? Yes, I do, because I got my handy dandy common conversion factor chart right here. And since we're dealing with length, I will look in the length category. And the second one down says one inch equals 2.54 centimeters exactly. So that's the conversion that I'm going to do. But this is basically useless to me because in chemistry, we like to write these as ratios. So get into the habit of knowing how to turn this common conversion factor chart into ratios. And remember, a ratio is just a unit, your first unit over the other unit. So in this case, it would be inches and centimeters. So I'm going to take my conversion factor and just write it as a ratio. So I can say either one inch is equal to, we use the fraction, the, like the division to mean equal to, 2.54 centimeters. And since they're equal to each other, I can just flip it. So I can say 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. So now I'm going to use that information to convert from inches to centimeters. So I start with what I'm given, which is the 28.5 inches. Now you guys should know from algebra that if you don't want a unit or if you don't want a number, you always put it on the opposite side. So like if I had 4 times 1 over 4, the 4s would cancel. And the same thing with variables. If I had the word dog and I put 1 over dog the word dog would cancel because the same unit or the same variable on the top and the bottom, they cancel each other out. So if I don't want inches anymore, I have to times by a ratio and put inches on the bottom, which means that centimeters would have to be on the top. And now I just use the correct conversion. It looks like this one is going to be the better one because this one, the inches are on the bottom and the centimeters are up at the top. So 2.54 centimeters and one inch. And that way inches will cancel. And now you get a number. Now we like to do correct sig figs here. Significant figures is sig figs. So when you're doing conversions, your answer will always have the same number of sig figs as given. That means that any numbers coming from your conversion charts, mm -mm, do not use these for sig figs. You only start with what you're given, the given number, because that's the number that has uncertainty. 
So this one, 28.5, you guys should know already that there's three sig figs here. If you don't know that, there's plenty of questions before this one that we've done that goes over sig figs. So we got that covered for you guys. So now I'm just going to do the math and plug it in and put it, my answer into three sig figs. So I'm going to say 28.5 times 2.54. So I get 72.39. Turn it into three sig figs. The seven, the two, and the three stay, but the nine will tell me that the three is actually rounded to a four. So this one would be 72.4, and then you just always have to include your units. You'll find that I'm a stickler for units. It just makes life easy. So this one is going to be 72.4 centimeters. So 28.5 inches equals 72.4 centimeters. Now let's move on to number two. We have to convert 29.0 inches into centimeters. So same type of conversion here. You start with your given, which is the 29.0 inches, times by a ratio. You don't want inches anymore, so that goes on the bottom. And it's the same conversion as before because we want to find for centimeters. There's 2.54 centimeters in every one inch and inches will cancel. And I started off now with three sig figs, two, nine, and the zero count. This zero counts because it is a trailing zero. I call them TZs, trailing zero. And trailing zeros only count if you see a decimal. And the decimal is right here, so it has to count. So we're looking for an answer with three sig figs. So 29, times 2.54, you get 73.66. But now I need three sig figs, so the seven, three, and the six, but the next number will tell me if I should round or not, and yes, I should, because that six is greater than five, so this six will turn into a seven. So I get 73.7 centimeters, because that's the only unit that's left, so it has to be in centimeters. So 29.0 inches is the same thing as 73.7 centimeters. So now we know the specifications in centimeters. It's between 72.4 centimeters and 73.7 centimeters. So that's the answer for the centimeters part. So highlight that, box it off, do whatever you got to do. That's the first part. Now we have to just take 20 ounces and turn it into grams. This is a mass, so I'm going to be looking in the mass category on my conversion chart, and I scan through it and I see, eh, this isn't gonna work. Pounds and grams, that's not gonna work. And then you get the two ounces ones, ounces to grams, ounces to grams. You just gotta know which one to use. Just know that troy ounce is only used to measure metals. Since this is a basketball, it's not a metal, so we wouldn't use this one. We would use the other one. So just know that that conversion is one ounce is equal to 28.349 grams. And since they're equivalent, you can flip it. So you could say, or 28.3, oh gosh. <laughs> Three, four, nine grams is equal to one ounce. Depending on what you start with, you'll use either conversion. So let's start. You always start with what you're given. So this is 20 ounces. Converting, so you have to times by a ratio. And I don't want ounces anymore, so that has to go on the bottom. And grams goes up on the top. So it looks like I'm going to be using this conversion. Because the ounces are on the bottom and the grams are on the top. So that one tells me that one ounce is equal to 28.349. Ounces cancel, and now I just have to do the conversion. Now in this case, they're telling you that the 20 was two significant figures. So I'm going to treat this as two sig figs. So 20 times 28.349, it was 28.349, yes it was, 
and I get an answer of 566, 566.98. We have to put that into two sig figs, so the 5 and the 6 stay. The 6 tells me that that 6 should round up to a 7. So this would be the same thing as saying 507D. I have to have a placeholder for this 6 right here, right? Because 57 is very different from 570. And this, we get the two sig figs, and this would be in the units of grams. So that's the maximum weight as well. It was 20 ounces, but now we know that 20 ounces is 570 grams. So those are your two answers. Your specifications are the 570 grams. So box that off, highlight it, do whatever you got to do. And the 72.4 centimeters and 73.7 centimeters would be the specifications in centimeters. All right, guys, hope this helped. If it did, hit that subscribe button because it helps us out. We like to know if you guys are learning. Um, and we just like to know if we're doing our job right. So with that in mind, I'll see you guys all in the next question. Probably more converting. Love converting. So I'll see you all then. Take care now. Have a great day.